good afternoon to all i welcome the participants to a session on strategic management today the session specific area is competitive analysis competitive analysis is a crucial component of the strategic planning and business decision making it involves assessing and understanding the competitive landscape in which a company operates here are some of the key points to consider when introducing the concept of competitive analysis by definition competitive analysis is the process of evaluating as well as analyzing the strengths and weaknesses of current and potential competitors in a specific market or industry by purpose the primary objective of competitive analysis is to gain insights into the competitors strategies capabilities as well as the market positioning it helps the business identity with respect to the opportunities mitigating the risks that is encountered in the external environment and to develop an effective strategy to outperform their competition with respect to the information sources competitive analysis relies on the gathering of information from various reliable sources this includes publicly available database from the industry publish reports competitor websites customer reviews social media as well as from market research that is conducted in the field with respect to the key components competitive analysis typically focuses on the several key components that is like the market share the product offerings pricing strategy of the organizations the distribution channels marketing tactics customer base as well as the competitive advantages if you see with respect to the sort analysis conducting a sort analysis that is the strengths weaknesses as internal factors and opportunities and threats as external factors is a common approach within the competitive analysis it helps to identify the internal strengths as well as the weaknesses of an organization and with respect to the external opportunities that is available in the external marketplace and the threats or the challenges that is encountered in the relation to the competition so with respect to the concept of competitive positioning understanding the competitors positioning in the market is vital for the organization this involves analyzing their target market their unique selling propositions the concept of branding and messaging to identify the ways to in order to differentiate and position your own 
business effectively. If you see with respect to the concept of benchmarking, competitive analysis often involves benchmarking, that is setting a target standard where a company compares its performance against industry leaders or direct competitors. Benchmarking helps to identify the areas of improvement that is needed and sets the performance targets accordingly. With respect to the competitive advantage, the competitive analysis that helps to identify and leverage the competitive advantage, these advantages can be in the form of unique products or services as the strength area or can be the cost leadership as a strength of the organization, can be superior customer service or can be technological innovation or strong brand recognition. These are the some of the selected areas where companies want to strengthen their position and trying to gain advantage out of that. With respect to the emerging trends and threats, the competitive analysis should also consider the emerging trends and the potential threats to the industry or the market. This includes the technological advancements that is taking place the regulatory changes that is happening by the government, the shifts in the consumer behavior because of changing market environment and changing expectation of the consumers or new entrants disrupting the market that is entering as a new market player to the industry. With respect to the concept of continuous process, competitive analysis is not a one-time activity. It is an ongoing process that requires regular monitoring and updating as market conditions, the competitors, those who are present as a market player in the industry and industry dynamics that change over the period of time. The, with respect to the market segmentation, the competitive analysis involves segmenting the marketplace to understand the different customer groups and also their specific needs, preferences, expectation, test, etc. This helps to identify the competitors, those who are targeting the same segments and potential gaps in the marketplace. That is the gap, what is uh, expected and what is actual. With respect to the competitive intelligence, the competitive analysis often involves gathering the competitive intelligence which refers to the collection and analysis of the information about the competitors. This includes their financial performance, organizational structure, key personnel about the patents, 
about the partnerships and future plan as well as the with respect to the market strategies that they are following in terms of introducing new product or service introducing appointing new channel members to strengthen the physical distribution process as well as some uh, introducing innovative way of promoting the business and also highly fixing highly competitive pricing to influence the price sensitive customers towards their kind of product if you see the commonly used management tool like porter's five forces an important framework within competitive analysis is termed as the porter's five forces model it assesses the competitive intensity and the attractiveness of an industry by considering various factors such as the threat of the new entrants those are planning to enter or have newly entered as a market player to the industry the bargaining power of the buyers because it is a bias market and also the bargaining power of the vendors or the suppliers those who are supplying raw materials to the company the threat of substitute products that is refers to the alternate choice available to the customers to switch over in case of any problem and also the rivalry among the existing competitors that refers to the level of competition that changes depending on the number of market player that exist in any industry at any point of time if you see the concept of product differentiation competitive analysis examines how the competitors differentiate the analysis examines how the competitors differentiate their products and services from that of the competitors in the marketplace and also understanding the unique features the benefits they provide to the consumers and the value proposition that is offered by the competitors which helps the companies to develop the strategies in order to differentiate their own offering by way of appropriate aggressive differentiation strategy if you see the concept of pricing analysis competitive analysis includes analyzing the pricing strategies of the competitors this involves examining the pricing structure the detail price breakup that is worked out in order to arrive at the final price, that is mrp or the maximum recommended retail price the discounts that is offered the promotions uh, that is carried out for a limited period to attract the consumers and to increase the consumer base and overall pricing competitiveness it helps the business to determine their pricing strategy in order to gain a competitive advantage or the position themselves at a certain price point in the marketplace which influences the mind of the price sensitive consumers with respect to the competitive response competitive analysis also involves pre predicting the and assessing the competitors potential response to certain market moves 
maybe introducing any new product or changing the price structure, the MRP, or appointing any new channel member to strengthen the physical distribution process or improving by introducing aggressive promotion strategy to communicate the message to the target audience. With respect to understanding how the competitors are likely to react allows the business to anticipate and prepare them accordingly. If you see the concept of collaboration and partnership, competitive analysis goes beyond the direct competitors. It also includes evaluating the potential collaboration, the opportunities that is available and also the partnership within the industry. This can involve the strategic alliances, the joint ventures or supplier relationships in order to enhance the competitive advantage and thereby winning the mind of the target customers and gaining superior profitability. If you see the concept of global competition in today's interconnected world, competitive analysis often extends beyond the domestic borders. Companies need to consider the global competitors and analyze their strategies, their market presence, as well as the international expansion efforts in order to stay competitive. If you see the concept of ethical considerations, the competitive analysis should be conducted ethically and legally by respecting the intellectual property rights, the privacy regulations and the fair competition practices. It is important to gather information through legitimate means from the reliable sources by engaging the channel and the staff and avoid engaging any unethical or illegal practices. With respect to actionable insights, the ultimate goal of the competitive analysis is to translate the gathered information into actionable insights. By understanding the competitive landscape, businesses can make informed decisions. They can develop effective strategies and allocate the resources appropriately to the various departments or various functional areas. Capitalize on the market opportunities in the right time. If you see the competitive analysis which provides the businesses with valuable insights to make informed decisions and refine their strategies and thereby gain competitive advantage in the marketplace. If you see competitive analysis is a very dynamic process that requires continuous process of monitoring and adapt adaptation from time to time. Regularly updating the analysis ensures the business to stay responsive to the changes in the marketplace and thereby maintain a competitive 
is over others. The competitive force, you see the forces for competitive analysis that includes the following like the strength of competitors, the weaknesses of the competitors, the objectives and the strategies of the competitors and with respect to the response of the competitors towards the external factors that can that to in order to gain advantage out of that and also to modify the things accordingly in the with respect to the internal factors the vulnerability of the competitors to the alternate strategies of the other organizations in the industry and also the vulnerability of the organizations to their alternate strategies options that is available as a discretion to the management with respect to the positioning of the products or services relative to the major competitors the status of entry as well as exit of the new and old organizations respectively the key factors resulting in the present competitive position in the industry that is considered the trends of the sales and profits ranking of the major competitors in the industry and also the supplier and distributor relationships in the industry that counts much to strengthen the supply of raw material as well as to efficiently distribute the finish of the final product and services of the organization. The threats to the competitors due to substitute product and services which changes the game plan by way of changing the level of impact on any business. If you see the Porter's Five Forces Framework, it is a widely used management tool to evaluate the competitive environment of how the forces they say the strategy and thereby affect the level of performance of the organization. The forces are given as below. The first one, we can say the rivalry among the competitors in the industry. That is, refers to or relates to the level of competition that exists in any industry at any point of time that by way of number of market players and second force that is acting that is the potential entrance or you can say the new market players those who are entering to the industry with their own strength and capabilities and expertise third force that is acting on any business is the substitute product which refers to or relates to the alternate choice available to the consumers to switch over in case any problem. With respect to the bargaining power of suppliers, the vendors, those who are supplying the raw materials, which is used as an input, is also equally important because quality product, quality input results in quality output. So not only quality input, but timely supply of the input is very crucial for maintaining the smooth flow of production as well as to reduce the stock level helps in reducing the working capital requirement. 
the bargaining power of the buyers which is changing over the period of time because of the buyers marketplace and because of competition among the number of market players exist in any industry increasing the level of competition and in providing best possible services to their target customers if you see the line diagram that clearly shows the porter's five forces model of competition one side is the potential entrants those who have entered to the newly to the industry second is the vendors those who are supplying the raw materials to the organization and the third is the substitutes or the substitute product depends on how many alternate choice available to the consumer to switch over more the substitute product less will be the impact and vice versa similarly more will be the vendors supplying raw material less will be their impact and vice versa and uh, the fourth major force that is acting on any business is the buyers or customers those who influence depending on the type of product and industry situation and also uh, the market conditions whether it is a monopoly or monopolistic or oligopoly or perfect competition so based on that situation market situation the impact of the buyers will vary and the fifth force which is acting on the business is the industry competitors that is changing the game plan by rivalry among the existing firms competing each other to gain higher market share in the industry and the continuous improvement process if you see the threat of new entrants entry barriers created to discourage the new entrants to the industry in various ways like the economy of scale as you know the production quantity or the volume must exceed the break even point in order to gain profit by producing and selling each and every unit of the product hence the economy of scale is very important consideration then second consideration is the learning or the experience effect for the new players because in a highly technical product a lot of specifications are to be needed to be collected and compared in order to get a better quality finished product so that will be a barrier for the new players those who are entering but because they have to gain the experience over the period of time and they have to gain the the rule of the game that is played by the existing market players in the industry then the third barrier is the cost advantage independent of scale that all depends on the level of technology that is adopted in order to improve quality and reduce the cost and bring in efficiency then the fourth factor that influences the new entrants is the brand benefits because the existing established market players they have already improved their brand image over the period of time or the brand equity and 
that is a asset for them and that makes the sale easier then next uh, force which is acting is the capital requirement in case of capital intensive industry it is very difficult for the new players unless and until they have got a strong financial backup support to enter as a new market player in the industry similarly the switching cost is another influencing factor that is when the company is switching from one industry to other industry then what what is the loss they have to incur that is referred as the switching cost next is the access to distribution channel because the established market players in the industry they have very wide distri physical distribution channel networking with strong channel members so which is a very difficult for the new players when they are entering to the industry so that is one of the strength areas similarly the anticipated growth will decide the entry of the new players if the growth of the industry is encouraging then obviously it will influence the market players to enter to the industry by way of expansion and diversification of their existing business with respect to the bargaining power of suppliers the factors that affect and influence the business are the importance of the buyer to the supplier group depending on type of product and industry similarly the importance of supplier product to the buyers what is the level of importance they keep the value that is very important then the third is the greater concentration among the suppliers than among the buyers because the focus is on how to supply quality inputs at a competitive price and high switching cost of the for the buyers is one of the important factors in case of the vendors supplying raw material to the principal and also the factor like credible threat of the forward integration by the supplier because sometimes they also plan to expand their business to by way of forward integration and that is one of the growth and expansion strategy of some of the highly potential suppliers with respect to the bargaining power of the customers the factor like the undifferentiated or the standard suppliers which is taken as a standard by the customers while purchasing the products or services from the marketplace then second factor which influences the customer is the customer's price sensitivity some of the customers they are highly price sensitive so for them the not only the price but the other related aspects that is uh, especially for the consumer durable products like what is the warranty period what is the spare part cost etc etc so is also related to the economy of purchase of a product then the accurate information about the cost structure of the suppliers because the suppliers they will work out 
to supply the item as per the mutual agreement or the MOU that is signed between the supplier and the principal. Then the factor of concentration of buyer industry and large purchase volume that influences the customers because in depending on the type of industry and also the type of product that is purchased if it is a high value and high cost a uh, high tech product then obviously the customers are very very important for the manufacturer then the credible threat of the backward integration of the buyers but sometimes if the buyer decides to expand its business horizon or the operations they can also think for the backward integration that is acquiring the manufacturing of the product and marketing themselves that is happening in case of large retailers those who have already selling the products in their own brand name that is termed as the private label brand or the store brand then the question of threat of the substitutes as one of the forces acting on the business whether the substitutes available are attractively priced then the question is whether the buyers view the substitutes as a satisfactory in terms of the quality as well as the performance because that is viewed by the customers based on their experience how easily the buyers can switch to the substitutes that is also one of the criteria of considering from switching one brand to other brand in the same product category with respect to the substitutes the concept of generally availability and acceptability of the substitutes which decides the price of the product if you see the competitive rivalry in case of oligopoly and monopolistic market competition with the presence of few market players the condition allow them to differentiate their products as well as their services a high degree of competition and or competitive situation is observed the following factors which explains the level of rivalry that includes the stability of the environment affected by way of innovation that is through creative ideas suggestions of the experienced stakeholder of the business then change in the regulation and customer need that is taking place that has taken place over the last decades because the because of the improvement of the technology and also the changing habits purchase habits buying power of the consumers there is lot of change have been noticed with respect to customer expectation customer needs requirements or desire whatever you can say with respect to the life expectancy of the competitive advantages in case of the consumer durable goods the innovations are very much short lived making it unstable and environment which leads to intense rivalry with respect to the characteristics of the strategies that is pursued by the competitors because the the kind of competitors goal which increases the rivalry 
as for example if the competitor wants to increase uh, its market share obviously we'll have to approach and adapt very aggressive strategy to in order to get the desired goal of increase market share in the subsequent financial year if you see the concept of strategic groups it relates to the conceptual clusters group together in order to facilitate the analysis as well as the understanding competition within the industry industries comprising of the multiple strategies groups as in automobile industry like there are various category of automobiles in four wheeler you can say like the muvs multi utility vehicles the cars can be form a one strategic group similarly the heavy duty vehicles another similarly the tractors for farm and agriculture operation is another segment and the two wheelers that is another strategic group so depending on the exit product its application and customer segment the there are various strategic groups in the marketplace in any sector in homogeneous industry all competitors are considered as the part of the same strategic group it is similar to the concept of the cluster because they, uh, there are different clusters number of clusters they find in the marketplace each cluster is includes the respondents having similar profile that is similar needs expectation and preferences towards product and services if you see the concept of competitive intelligence it is about the information that is relevant to strategy formulation in context to the environment within which a business organization competes it has several applications like provide description of the competitive environment which guides the strategy formulation then it is a challenge common assumption about the competitive environment and also is a forecasting the future development in competitive environment what is going to happen what is the trend it follows the industry trend the market trend also gives lot of insights identifying and compensating the competitive weaknesses by way of sort analysis deciding when a strategy is no longer viable or sustainable by amending the or modifying the strategy by way of periodic review discussion review meetings carried out by the organizations with respect to what is the target versus what is the actual performance of the organization indicating when and how the strategy should be adjusted to the changing competitive environment because the strategy is relevant for a particular period when the marketplace or environment changes obviously the same strategy may not be relevant it need to be reviewed it need to be modified from time to time within the, even within the financial year if you see the scenario planning the concept of scenario planning includes it is a tool for ordering one's perception about the alternate future environment based on which decision 
will be framed. It is a powerful planning tool which is present alternate images from the qualitative perspectives. It needs decision makers to question their assumption about the way the world works, about the way the things move. It is a prediction based on the expertise judgment. It provides an effective basis of complex conditions and options because the market environment is always complex and turbulent which is changing from time to time. By recognizing the warning signals, the threats and opportunities, one can surprise and act effectively depending on the changes in the external environment. So either can be positive or can be negative, can be exploring and utilizing the opportunities in the right time to gain advantage and to take the leverage out of the situation. And similarly, how to counter manage effectively the threats or challenges that is being faced due course of conducting business in the marketplace. Decisions have been pre-tested are likely to stand the test of time, produce resilient strategies that is relevant and effective found and create the competitive advantage for the organization. That is to gain superior profitability, the higher in terms of return on investment and more than the industry average performance. If you see the scenario, planning can be found useful in the following ways by creating alignment between the energy situation and organization's vision and purpose. So vision refers to the future projection and also the very purpose of conducting the business. Innovations and new forms of value creations to as a tool for as of our differentiation strategy, as a tool for positioning strategy, continuous process of improvement through innovation by the valuable feedback suggestions of the experienced stakeholders of the organization. It will involve many people with ability to perceive as well as act as a effective participants in the process. It will provide space for multiple interpretations in order to make a sense of what is happening because that is that insight that uh, tips will help to compete in a better way. It will be capable of creating the early breakthrough in perception and understanding by including the people from various background and to get a grip of the new environment, the change marketplace. With respect to the implementation of the scenario planning, a company-wide involvement leads to better result in a business organization, being monitored by a cross-functional team. The employees are encouraged to participate on an incentive-based process, following other steps given for better understanding. The step one relates to identification of the issue effects of the external factors on the business as it is a technology driven and also 
it is based on the political situation it is based on the economic conditions or situations of the environment or it is based on the competitive positioning of the organization in comparison to its competitors other market players in the industry the step 2 refers to classification of the issues that is support issues with the reports because based on the published reports that is for ready reference of the management and take decisions accordingly decide the uncertainty and kind of impact of the issue the as assessed by the experience employees of the organization then the next step step 3 relates to analyzing and problem solving approach it is based on the classification a display board can be used in order to communicate to all and following sequence can be taken for analysis and a solution thereby can be found out to the existing problem of the organization in the, the relationship between the uncertainty and impact is given by this 2 by 2 matrix structure which results in four different quadrants or situations when situation when the impact is high and the uh, with respect to the market uh, situation when the uncertainty level is high and the impact is low it is termed can be the situation can be uh, discarded when the uncertainty level is high and the impact is high keep a close watch what is happening close monitoring will help and the third situation can happen when the uncertainty level is low as well as the impact level is low it can be used for long term planning and the fourth quadrant is when the uncertainty level is low whereas the impact level is high that is are of highest concern because the priority will be given depending on this relationship between uncertainty and impact factors if you see the social media competitive analysis it helps in the following way identifying the competitors on the social media knowing the competitors social platform knowing the way competitors using the platform understanding the response towards the social strategy of the competitors with respect to the situations and benchmarking the social results against the competition and identifying the social threats that is coming from time to time then finding gap in one's own social media strategy what is the forecast versus what is the actual the steps used to develop the social media visibility and perform competitors analysis includes decide the competitors then gather the relevant informations accordingly then make a short analysis strength weakness opportunity threat to find out what is what and up to date informations the in the database with respect to the competitive profile matrix it is a strategic management tool to compare the organizations with its competitors as per the steps given below identify the critical success factor assign a weight 
to each critical success factor, then assign the ratings to each organization and assign a score to each organization. The score is worked out by multiplying the weightage to the rating of the each critical success factor competitor wise and then compare. If you see uh, in terms of concluding remarks, the competitive analysis is based on the assessment of its actional environment. The focus is totally on the five forces framework analysis. It helps in understanding the overall structure of the competition. The competitive analysis is performed based on the competitive profile matrix. The competitive analysis is a vital process that helps the business to understand their position in the marketplace and eva evaluate their competitors' strength and weakness. The analysis involves gathering and evaluating the information about the competitors, their products, services, market share, marketing strategy, and customer perceptions. Here are some of the key points in order to consider when summarizing and drawing the conclusions from a competitive analysis. First one is the market overview. Begin the summary by providing an concise overview of the market and its key players. Highlight the market size, the growth rate, and the major trends influencing the industry. And next is the competitor identification. Identify and list the main competitors operating in the marketplace. Include both the direct competitors, those offering similar products or the services, and indirect competitors, those addressing the same customer needs but with a different solution approach. Then comparative assessment includes analyze each competitor's the strength, weaknesses, opportunity, and threat. Assess their market share and brand reputation, brand quality, pricing strategies, distribution channels, customer base. Identify any unique selling points or competitive advantage they possess. Then question a product or service analysis to evaluate the competitor's offerings and compare them to your own assess the features, functionality, quality, and innovation of their product and services. Identify any gaps or areas where your product and services has a competitive advantage or is over others. And with respect to the pricing analysis, analyze the pricing strategies of your competitors, compare their pricing models, discounts, offer promotions and pricing structures determine if they are targeting different customer segments or if there are opportunities for any price adjustments marketing and sales strategies examine how the competitors market and sell their products evaluate their advertisement campaigns online presence the uh, social media strategies and customer engagement tactics. Identify any unique approaches or successful marketing channels they utilize. With respect to the customer perception, assess how the customers perceive your competitors, analyze the customer review, feedback, ratings, and identify any recurring themes or issues that customers highlight as well as any positive aspects that contribute to the customer satisfaction. Opportunities and threats includes the summarize the key opportunity and threat identified during the analysis, highlight emerging market trends, untapped customer segments or areas where your competitors are vulnerable. Consider how your business can leverage these opportunities and mitigate the potential threats. In conclusion, based on the analysis, conclude by summarizing the overall competitive landscape, discuss the relative strength and weaknesses 
of your business in compared to the competitors. Identify the areas where you have competitive advantage and areas that require improvement or further investment. With respect to the strategic recommendation, provide actionable recommendations based on the competitive analysis, propose strategies to capitalize on the opportunities, address the weaknesses, differentiate your product or services, or improve your marketing and sales efforts. These recommendations should align with your business objectives and enable you to gain the competitive advantage. Competitive analysis should provide a clear understanding of the competitive landscape and thereby guide the strategic decision making for your business. So thank you for your patient listening.